again, despite what people say, he has <laughs> never, he has never, like, missed a beat. Y'all can say whatever you want about Last Night in Soho. That movie was awesome. But wait, people didn't people like People don't that? like it. People thought it was bad. Excuse you? You didn't know that? No. Okay. Because gonna... I'm not on Twitter, really, so I this probably missed all the discussion. Be a random banter <laughs> episode. Let's go to the letterbox then. Let's, t- let's, let's. Oh my god. You didn't know this? Up. No. It didn't even. That Last get... Night in Soho is like one of my favorite movies ever. I know. Well, it's. Of that year, I would say. No, no, no. It's in my top 10. Of all time? So far? No. It's not yeah. that good. Uh, I mean, it's a five out of five for me. I I had nothing. There was there was yeah, like you know people people didn't like that. It was like, oh what? So uh, uh, a sex trafficked uh, uh, woman is the bad guy in the movie? Like, no, there was like stuff like that. It was it was like, uh, I don't know. Out of my okay, I have fourteen five stars. On my letterbox, so I mean, <laughs> it's in my top fourteen, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it has a lot of good reviews as well. Um, but, but like, like, uh, I'm just like Eloise because I'm too lonely and spent most of my time thinking about An- Anya Taylor Joy. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know what I don't know what that's supposed <clears> to mean. <throat> I get that she doesn't like it because it's a one and a half star. Yeah. Uh, but like here, so it's, it's so hard to make a. But here, this is from Carson Runquist, who's a fairly competent film critic YouTuber. He gave it two stars, and it says worst case scenario Coraline. That's it. Yeah. And then, then someone this is the same problem men has. That's the thing. Here, two and a half stars. Men are bad in it. Um, that two two stars. Uh... So I'm supposed to believe a girl from Cornwall who's been to London once can run street to street without using. Okay, like. That's not that's just being dumb. Yeah, here's some here's one. I wonder if this. I don't think it is. She keeps popping up though. Ao Edibiri wrote a review. I wonder if that is the actress Ao Edibiri. I I want it to be, but I'm not sure it is. Either way, weird movie of what a guy thinks women are afraid of. There's <laughs> more to it. Yeah, I fe- I feel like people people like. Here, we got a three-star by Trin. It may contain spoilers, whatever. A movie where a woman in the 60s gets taken advantage of when trying to start her music career and kills all the men who abused her is a way better standalone concept. The double feature of the movie with Ellie just watered that story down to me. Mm. I did like Ellie and I loved the performance, but the plot twists weren't twists and the ending was so soft. The build-up made me believe something crazy was going to happen and then nothing really happened. Nothing really happened. There were ghosts. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, she, she was the... I don't... Uh, I, I think it was more on Twitter back in the day. Um, yeah, I don't really understand why people didn't like that movie. <laughs> no. And Letterboxd is not the right place to check. No, because they never write what they actually think. Just, oh, no, oh, I funny. Mean, oh. See, see now, maybe if a lesbian directed it, yeah, what 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 does that mean? It, what, that's what, what I that, mean. First of all, what would that? It's, it's something like <laughs> it's it's no because it's like it's such a it's such a female story that Edgar Wright was not the right person to do it because he's such a dude. Like, but, but that's but not. He, but he's ugh, that's I I, I don't. That's like not that. fair. First of all, and second of all, he did great. <sighs> yeah, I don't like if you just didn't enjoy it. Say that you can't say it wasn't a well-made, well-written, well-performed movie. But a guy did it. Despite a guy doing it, <laughs> if you want to be that way, then. Um. Yeah. No. I. I think. It, I mean. I mean. Yep. Yeah, I think people read too much into the politics of the movie. What he's. What he like. Someone called it. Tasteless and vile, like a cheap jump scare. Yeah. Despite, for years, considered Edgar Wright to be one of my favorite directors. Um, but this one, just what the fuck happened? I just found this tasteless and vile. Yeah, that's the whole thing because of the sex trafficking and the sexual abuse stuff. It's like, 
Yeah, it's it's like it's, he's not a handling cheap jump scare is the best way to explore this particular kind of trauma. Yeah, exactly. But it's that that's the thing. That, oh. Yeah, that you can't you can't make a. It's not even a light-hearted movie. It is it is. Oh no, God, no. No, exactly. Yeah, but it's like oh, they're not treating it with the uh, with the uh, the amount of respect that they should. But they're this portraying like... it. But th- th- but that's the thing, though. They're showing you the trauma through all of the other stuff, through the ghost men and through the the fucking time traveling shit and all that stuff. It's 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 a way of of it's almost like a coping mechanism. Yeah. All of what happens to them is is trying to portray how a victim might feel around it, might experience life because of it. Yeah. Yeah, people. Pe- and it's very individual, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, people for some reason jumped on it i don't i don't get it it's it's such a beautifully made movie oh god yeah and like a genuinely at times like spooky oh yes jesus uh, christ yes with, with great performances by everyone involved 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 <laughs> involved involved yeah no that's yeah. that's bullshit last night in Zoo is amazing yeah i mean I mean, he got he got pretty good reviews. He got like a he got a sixty five meta score. Sure. Uh, and I'm 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 just worried that like that like, that people now are like oh no wait. It, like when his next movie comes out, they're gonna be like, no like like the magic is lost or something like oh no we don't now we don't like him, and then it's gonna be like. And then there's going to be tweets. This is me completely just speculating. Like, yeah. this is me doom scrolling in my head. People are like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I I knew from the beginning that he was just a bad director. I never even liked Sean of the Dead. I just, I fear that that is going to happen if the next movie I mean, is not amazing as well. I, uh, <sighs> yeah, anyway. No, I don't think so. Because first of all, if you want to be picky about it, he has... Two kind of different styles. They're, they are similar, obviously. But he makes two kinds of movies. He makes the Shaun of the Dead, Pot Fuss, Cornetto Trilogy kind of movie. And then he does Baby Driver, Last Night in Soho kind of movie. Which are more more serious. Yes. Yeah. Less. He excels in both. Oh, yeah. Though I, I can imagine that there's more just fun in general doing the Cornetto Trilogy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because you know the cast and and the subjects are much funnier and more lighthearted, already obviously. Mm. But th- th- they're both amazing styles, and it works perfectly for what he's trying to do. Yeah, like there's there's, I don't even remember having a complaint about Baby Driver the first time I saw it. I was like, no, this is exactly what I imagined this movie should be. Yeah, and he hit like perfectly, hit it on the the head. You know. Yeah. I, I I agree, but oh, I, I'm just annoyed. <laughs> yeah, no, I I I, but I I think uh, because of because uh, if you don't if you don't count the Sparks Brothers documentary because it's a documentary, uh, Baby Driver and Last in the Soho is probably the movies that he you know p- p- because people people got to know him as the guy who made the Cornetto movies. And yeah. they're very distinct. Like you said, they, they are yes. their own style. <coughs> and then his Definitely. other movies are a different style. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is somewhere in the middle. Um, yeah. I'm glad that I, I've seen more, more, and more, more and more like <laughs> video essays about the movie. Like, hey, remember this movie that, that flopped back in 2010? It's actually amazing. I was like, yeah, I know. Yeah. I didn't have the internet back then, but I could have told you. 